Fields of Mystria is a game where you can explore ancient ruins, battle enchanted foes, discover hidden treasures, and most importantly, find love with one of the 12 marriage candidates. In today's video, we're going to be looking at those 12 marriage candidates. I'm going to show you all the information that we have about all 12 of them thus far, and I'm going to tell you guys who you, the fans, are most excited to see. Let's start by talking about Celine. Now, Celine appears to be the face of Fields of Mystria in the trailer that they released. She's the first one that we see. For some of these marriage candidates, we have bios, and some of them we're not going to have a bio. But Celine, obviously, as she's the face of the game, she has her official bio right here. Her name is Celine. Her birthday is spring 23rd. She works at a general store, but she's a gardener who dreams of making it more than a hobby. For Celine, we also have some of her dialogue. She says, good morning, perfect timing. It's been getting really cold, so I made you a cup of hot cocoa to start your day. I hope you like extra marshmallows. We can also see her here. It looks like she's the one who introduces you to the farm. She says, hello, you must be the new farmer. Nice to meet you. For some of these marriage candidates, we're able to see multiple outfits for them. And Celine, of course, again, she has multiple outfits that we can see. Here we can see her in her winter jacket, looking really cute. Here we can see her on the beach, and it looks like this is going to be her outfit in the spring. So yeah, we've already seen at least three outfits for Celine. Even though she's the face of Fields of Mystria, when I asked you guys who you guys were most excited about, only one fan even mentioned Celine's name. And that one was Dragon Fairy. They said Celine and Adeline. For me, I thought that was kind of surprising because, yeah, as I said before, she's the face of Fields of Mystria. So I thought a few more of you guys would be excited to get to know Celine. For me, I absolutely love her design. She kind of looks like Sailor Moon. So, yeah, I personally, I really like her design and I'm really excited to get to know her. The next marriage candidate is Baylor. Now, this is kind of weird because actually, shortly after Celine was revealed, Baylor, he was one of the next marriage candidates to be revealed. However, since his initial reveal, we've hardly gotten any new information about Baylor. So we don't have multiple outfits of his. All we can see is this one outfit right here, and we've only got this one quote from Baylor. His one quote is, I've got everything you could want. Anything catch your eye? And you can see him here. He's got this like, you know, winking look to him. So he's maybe a little bit on the flirtatious side. But yeah, we don't really have that much information about Baylor other than that. Based off of this quote, we can kind of tell that he runs a shop. It looks like here he has a little cart and he's selling things and, you know, asking if you want to buy anything. Unfortunately, other than that, we don't really have that much information about him. Even though we don't have that much information about him, are you guys the fans? Are you guys excited to meet him? Well, at least one of you are, and that is Anna. And she said that she thinks all of the marriage candidates are looking good, but in particular, Baylor and Valen. The next marriage candidate we're going to look at is Adeline. Now, Adeline has this really long bio, so let's jump into it. Adeline is the daughter of Mistria's Baron and Baroness. She's made it her goal to revitalize the town after an unusual earthquake struck the area, wreaking havoc. Adeline is seeking a capable adventurer to move to Mistria and help out in exchange for a homestead south of town. She is hardworking, organized, and optimistic, although she tends to overdo it sometimes. We also have this scene where we can see her talking to the farmer, and she says, Aelin and Great Aunt Elise have been saying I should relax more. I can relax. I know how to relax. And then you can choose whether you want to say you're so relaxed or you can say, how do you relax? If you choose to say you're so relaxed, then she's going to say, to tell you the truth, talking about it is making me very tense. <laughs> We have one more clip of her, but yeah, if you're at work right now, maybe don't watch this part of the video because she's going to be in a bikini. <laughs> Here to relax? Me too. It feels nice to let your hair down once in a while. So yeah, for some reason, both of her scenes are talking about relaxing. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe she's like a workaholic and she doesn't really know how to relax very well. Maybe she's very high stress, like that type of person. But yeah, I guess she lets her hair down at the beach. Now, Adeline, it seems like she's going to be a little bit more more of a popular character. You can see here we already got four comments saying that they are excited to meet Adeline. I also have to agree, I think her character design looks really cute. Love her outfit, love her hair, and I love her personality so far. 
Next up, we have The Bachelor, Hayden. Now, Hayden, for me at least, he really sticks out because he looks like he's much older than the typical marriage candidate that we get in these types of farming sims. He also looks a bit buffer than most of the choices we usually have. Let's first look at some dialogue from Hayden. He says, Good morning. You ever raise a cow? Marvelous animals. Everyone should have a cow or two around the house. So Hayden, it looks like he is going to run a ranch, and he's going to be the one who sells you different animals. We also have a clip of him meeting the farmer. Here he says, You're the new farmer, right? Want me to show you the ropes? So yeah, it looks like Hayden is going to be one of the first marriage candidates that we meet, and he's going to be the one who teaches us how to raise chickens, cows, that type of thing. There's also a behind the scenes look at Hayden where we can see his original concept art and then what he looks like now. And I personally have to say that this is a huge upgrade. <laughs> I don't know if y'all had seen the Stardew Valley before and afters, but some of those I was kind of like, ooh, I actually might like some of the pre-release looks more than the look that actually got released. But with Hayden, this is definitely not the case. <laughs> it was definitely a big glow up for Hayden. Me personally, I'm really excited to meet Hayden, but what about you guys? Did anybody make any comments about Hayden? For Hayden, we got not one, not two, but seven different comments. So yeah, it looks like Hayden is highly anticipated. Also, if we go back to my original video that I made about Fields of Mysteria, there were also people who commented about Hayden there. So yeah, I would say in terms of The Bachelors, it's looking like Hayden is one of the front runners for a lot of us. Next up, we have another character who's been featured quite a lot, and that is Juniper. For Juniper, we also have her bio. We can see her name is Juniper. Her birthday is fall 6th. She works at the bathhouse, and her bio is a newcomer to Mystria. She's enchanting in more ways than one. So I'm not sure if all of the villagers are going to have magical abilities, but Juniper definitely does. You can see her with her crystal ball, and yeah, she makes allusions to using magic. Here are some different quotes from Juniper. I wasn't expecting to spend my hottest years in this podunk town, but here I am. Another quote is, I hope you enjoyed your bath, but remember, if you feel any ill effects, such as light headache, insomnia, or sudden tail growth, it is merely a random coincidence. As I was saying before, it looks like she has some magical abilities, and one of those abilities, I guess, is to give different people in the town a tail. And here's also a little gif with Juniper dating the female farmer. Um, the developers, they have confirmed that there is same gender relationships in this game. So it doesn't matter if you choose a male or female farmer, you can date any of the marriage candidates. Here we can also see her with that crystal ball. And then the last quote we have from her is this one where she says here for a refreshing evening at bath, go on, the town will thank you for it. Oh ho ho. <laughs> Also, her outfits, they are like super extra. I definitely also have to say that. <laughs> Me, personally, Juniper is also one of the female marriage candidates that I'm kind of interested in. Um, I definitely want to at least become friends with her in the game pretty early because, yeah, she seems like she has a really interesting personality. For Juniper, we got three different comments mentioning that they are excited to date Juniper. Also, on my last video about Fields of Mysteria, we had one comment saying that Juniper is so cute and gives me witch princess vibes. I love that we can actually date like a witch and maybe a wizard in this new game. Um, I really think that that's a cool feature to have. It's kind of a shame in other games where they have wizards or witches and then they don't let you date them. But thankfully that is not the case in Fields of Mysteria. The next marriage candidate we have is Ayland. I guess it could be Island. Um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I think Ayland sounds a little bit better, so I'm going to be saying Ayland. <laughs> For Ayland, we don't really have that much information, but we do have this really funny quote right here. He says, I do hope you'll make it to the end tonight. I'm debuting my latest dragons and drama campaign. It's a little historical learning tool and fun game that I cooked up. But yeah, that's all the information we have about Ayland right now. So how about you guys? Are you guys excited to meet Ayland? For Ayland, we actually got four different comments talking about Ayland. As I've said, we don't really have that much information about him yet, and so one of the comments was saying Ayland. He has a mysterious, charming side. So yeah, it looks like some of you guys are interested in Ayland. I also am interested to get to learn more about Ayland. The next character we have is Reyna. 
Here we have Reyna's bio. Her name is Reyna. Her birthday is summer 21st. Her job is a chef, and her bio is that she is the bubbly head chef of the Sleeping Dragon Inn. Now, Reyna, we have a few quotes from her. She says, my name is Reyna. My family owns the Sleeping Dragon Inn. It's a pleasure to meet you. We also can see a few clips of her working in the inn. We also have this quote from her where she says, You know, rainy days are perfect for cuddling. Up by the fireplace with a good book. For Reyna, we also have some concept art for her. And I think her concept art looks a little bit better than Hayden's. But yeah, I do think that she's still got a glow up in the end game. Is she a highly anticipated character? Barista Stargazer said, Reyna, she looks like a sweet type of person. Next up, we're going to be looking at March. Now, March is another character who has been featured quite a lot. We have this quote from him here. The name's March. What do you want? This character, I think they're going to be one of those slow to warm up to you type of characters. So if that is your cup of tea, then yeah, March is probably the one for you. Now, I'm not saying I got a love fortune from Stillwell. But if someone did and Stillwell told them love today will be like sparks in a forge, that would be good, right? Because sparks are awesome. Here we can see March's summer attire, and he says, oh great, now you're here. Well, it's a big beach. And then you can choose to say, oh March, or you can say, you're a big beach. Kind of giving me like Barbie movie vibes right here. <laughs> Then we also have this quote here, what, you want to craft something? Not just anyone can work my forge, you know. And then here we have some behind the scenes art. And yeah, again, I think it's a big improvement over the concept art. Um, his eyes are a little bit too intense in this original concept art. March is another one that we have a bio for. We can see his name is March. His birthday is summer 15th. He is a blacksmith and he's an award-winning blacksmith with a chip on his shoulder. March looks like he is going to be a popular character because already four of you have talked about him in the comments saying that you are excited to get to meet March. The next character we have is Valen. For Valen, this is a bachelorette. Um, initially, when I saw the character design, I thought maybe it was going to be a bachelor, but no, it's actually a bachelorette. I think with the original concept art, it's much easier to tell that it is a female character, whereas in the final art, I think it looks more kind of um, androgynous. The quote we have from Valen is, okay, hold still so I can examine you. Hmm, you're looking a little flushed. And the next quote is, not all time has to be spent productively. Leisure is good for you. So from these quotes, we can obviously tell that Valen is going to be the doctor. Um, they're going to be the one who gives you physical exams and things like that. In terms of comments from you guys, we actually only really got one comment that mentioned Valen. And that comment said, Valen looks like she'll treat you right. And Baylor looks like he'll help you delve into to mysteries. The next marriage candidate we have is Rias. The first quote from Rias is, each project is a puzzle. I like to take my time and enjoy the process. The second quote is, welcome to my workshop, looking to make an addition to your home. So it looks like Rias is going to be a carpenter. He's probably going to be the one who helps you to upgrade your home, and maybe he also can make you some furniture. Rias is another one that we don't really have that many pictures and we don't really have that much information. We just have those two different quotes and those two different images of their different outfits. For Rias, we got three different comments talking about what a sweetheart Rias is going to be. Last, we have two mystery marriage candidates. This is the first portrait that we have of the first mystery candidate. This first mystery marriage candidate, you can tell that it's a female marriage candidate. Looks like they have their hair in two buns. Uh, it's kind of funny that we have Saline, who kind of looks like Sailor Moon. And then we have this character whose hair, it looks like it's also in the same style as Sailor Moon. So yeah, it'll be really interesting to meet this character. I'm, also, I'm actually also really curious if this character is going to be a true special marriage candidate, or if they just haven't announced this marriage candidate yet. It seems like in most farming games, 
recently, like all of the marriage candidates, they'll just tell us who is marriageable in the game right from the get-go. However, in a lot of the older Harvest Moon games, we would have secret special marriage candidates where you can only marry them if you meet certain requirements. And yeah, I would say from these two silhouettes, it kind of looks like they're not going to reveal these marriage candidates ever. And we're going to have to wait until we get our hands on the game. And then we're going to have to do something special to unlock them. For the male marriage candidate, I have to say that this really looks like a mystery. Um, I think that they're probably wearing some special type of cape, um, probably royalty or something like that. My guess is that both of these mystery characters, they're both going to be magical, like they can both use magic, especially the male character. Um, we have Juniper, who is definitely going to be a magic user from the original Marriage Candidates, but we don't really see any magic users on the male side, so I really think that this mystery character is going to be a wizard. But yeah, that's just my guess. Y'all are going to have to let me know in the comments down below what are your guesses for these two mystery Marriage Candidates. Also, do you think that I'm right in saying that they are special mystery marriage candidates where they're not going to reveal them and we're going to have to find them on our own? Or do you think that they're going to reveal them before the release of the game? Please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.